Good day, I am William Theo, and this is PTV News Now. The death toll after a massive earthquake in Taiwan on Wednesday has risen to seven, according to the National Fire Agency. Most of the deaths occurred in Huahian County, an epicenter of the quake. Over 700 people were reportedly injured. Two buildings collapsed after the strong earthquake. A train passenger also took a picture of a landslide near Kanan Bridge. Taiwanese President Chai Ing-wen says the army will assist in relief efforts. Wu Chen Fu, the director of Taipei Seismology Center, said the earthquake that hit Taiwan's east was the strongest in 25 years. Meanwhile, FIVOX canceled a tsunami warning hours after a major earthquake struck neighboring Taiwan. Evacuation orders were issued for coastal areas in the provinces of Batanes, Cagayan, Ilocos Norte, and Isabela after the 7.4 magnitude earthquake triggered tsunami warnings in Taiwan, Japan, and the Philippines. However, few people in the lightly populated northern regions appear to have responded to the orders, and the tsunami warning was lifted after a couple of hours. The agency had initially warned of high tsunami waves based on wave models. The Japan Meteorological Agency said downgraded its tsunami warnings for Japan's southern islands to a tsunami advisory. A tugboat pushing a fuel barge was the first vessel to use an alternate channel to bypass the wreckage of Baltimore's collapse. Francis Scott Key Bridge, which had blocked traffic along the vital port's main shipping channel. The barge supplying jet fuel to the Department of Defense left late Monday and was destined for Delaware's Dover Air Force Base. Officials have said the temporary channel is open primarily to vessels helping in the cleanup effort. Some barges and tugs that have been stuck in the port of Baltimore since the collapse are also scheduled to pass through the said channel. Officials said they are working on a second channel on the southwest side of the main channel that will allow for deeper draft vessels, but they didn't say when that might open. Governor Wes Moore is set to visit one of two centers the Small Business Administration opened in the area to help companies with loans to cope with losses caused by the disruption of the bridge's collapse. This is William Theo. Stay informed, get ahead, get the news right here. <laughs>